Okay, so what should you choose? Redmi Note 9 Pro or Poco X3? I was asked this question quite often in the comments and in this video I will try to answer it. Firstly, I will tell you why it is worth buying Redmi against Poco and then why it is worth buying Poco against Redmi. In the end I think you will understand what will suit you better. And of course I will tell my opinion on which of these smartphones I would choose. Let's start. Before I start I want to tell you that this is an absolutely honest video about these two smartphones. Both of these phones were bought for my own money and before record this review I used each of them as my daily drivers. I used Redmi Note 9 Pro for three months and then immediately after Redmi I switched to Poco X3 also for three months. In general I used them for minimum a half a year. I want to ask you guys, please do not subscribe to my channel if you do it without a notification bell. The subscription should only be with the bell, otherwise I buy phones, I use them, I make honest videos for you. You subscribe without notification bells and do not watch my reviews. So why the heck I need this, let's somehow come to an agreement. If you subscribe, please with the bell, without it just watch my video and pass by. And I want to tell you this will be my comparison and if someone has something to add to my comparison, please write your opinions in the comments. I will read everything and I will understand all your complaints and discontent. Note 9 Pro. In my opinion, it is better than Poco X3 in 5 points. Well, first of all, in terms of materials and how Redmi looks. I personally enjoyed using Redmi much better. Glass, back cover, it is slightly thinner and it really feels and also a nicer design, especially for the camera. In Poco, cameras are just awful. The second advantage of Redmi over Poco is battery life. I always measure battery life with an on-screen time and so in real use Redmi Note 9 Pro gives about somehow an hour and a half more than Poco X3. In reality this is around 6.5 hours on X3 versus 8 on Note 9 Pro. But if you turn on 60Hz on Poco, then it gives about the same result as Redmi. But I'm almost sure that you will not turn on 60Hz because this is the main feature of Poco. If you turn it off, why should you buy Poco then? Let's go further. If you like micro shots, then macro is naturally better on Redmi. There is 5 megapixel with autofocus and Poco has only 2 megapixels on macro and without autofocus. And one more advantage of Redmi is a full-fledged tray for SIM. You can insert two SIM cards and a micro SD. In Poco this cannot be done, there is combined tray, either two SIM cards or SIM plus micro SD. If this is important to you, pay attention to this. Well, the fifth thing why it is worth buying Redmi and not Poco is the sound of the earpiece speaker. At Poco X3 the sound of the earpiece speaker even at the minimum values is too high and this is cannot be adjusted in an easy way, only root. On Note 9 this is fine. For example, I work in a quiet office and I'm simply enraged by the fact that my colleagues hear the person that I'm talking to. Before moving on the advantages of Poco over Redmi, I want to tell you that in the description there are my referral links to both of these smartphones at the best prices that I found. And if you buy yourself something via these links, then it will not cost you a drop more and I will get some kind of a penny from this and will make more and more videos for you, honest videos for you. Thank you guys for understanding. So let's move on to the advantages of Poco over Note 9 Pro. And here I counted only four. And the first is, of course, 120 Hz screen. Here without a doubt, it is much more pleasant to look at the increased Hz. Of course, it does not work everywhere, but in the menu, in settings, Chrome, as well as in all of these Facebooks, Instagrams and Telegrams, it works. And this is an undoubted huge advantage of Poco. 60 Hz and 120 are like heaven and earth. The second is stereo speakers. And there is nothing special to say, Poco speakers are louder and better. If you need sound from speakers, then X3 certainly wins. Third reason why Poco is worth buying against Redmi is a simple thing. The proximity sensor. The proximity sensor works better on Poco. Xiaomi often has problem with proximity sensors, uh, that is, it so happens that the screen does not go off during a conversation. With Poco X3 I had no problems with the screen during a call, but Redmi Note 9 Pro had such problems. The screen sometimes turned on spontaneously and accidentally. I had to turn off the screen with the power button, so to speak manually. It is inconvenient. 
the fourth is 4K electronic stabilization. X3 has EIS, Redmi doesn't have it. But there are a few things that you need to know about electronic stabilization. Firstly, it cuts off the edges of the frame, because this is exactly how it works. Accordingly, in Redmi Note 9 Pro, the frame will be wider. Secondly, in the dark conditions and with artificial light, electronic stabilization will make your video footage blurry. And this was the fourth advantage of the Poco X3 over the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Otherwise, these smartphones are very similar and it would seem that Poco should be ahead in terms of gaming capabilities, but I cannot say it is much better than Redmi Note 9 Pro, everything is played in the same way as in Poco. The differences are minimal, the cameras are also very similar, as I said, just in macro camera and 4K shooting. And by the way, I still have a few videos about these phones, I advise you to watch them, if you are still facing a choice. Well, as for me, you know, despite 120Hz and stereo speakers, in Poco I would choose the Note 9 Pro. I cannot forgive the level of the volume of Poco's earpiece speaker. As I said, at the minimum values, the volume is too high and I don't like it. You can solve the problem with the root, but I don't want to root my phone. And also Poco X3 is a monster, this is ugly, as for me. Redmi is much prettier. Well, what did you choose? Write about it in the comments and do not forget to write why? I think we will all read it with pleasure. I hope that my short video note was interesting and useful for you. My name is Evgeny. If you didn't know, subscribe to my channel with the bell if you didn't yet. And have a nice day. Всем добра!